I saw a beam on my chest, and then I saw a beam on my head. And that beam meant a gun was pointed at him by a man who should be locked up tonight, but he escaped. Good evening, everyone. His victims know him better than the rest of us. And when he escaped from jail on Tuesday, their fears were heightened. Chris Bowden walked out of the Hamilton County Justice Center on Tuesday by pretending to be another inmate. Local 12's Angela Ingram spoke with a man who had a run in with Bowden. He wants to know how he got out undetected. Angela joins us now with his story. It's a story you'll see only here on Local 12, right, Angela? That's right, Rob, and the man tells us that back in May, he had a run-in with Bowden. He says he doesn't even know Bowden, but Bowden pointed a gun at his head and his chest. That gun had a laser sight on it, very similar to this. So he sees this dot pop up on his head and again on his chest. Obviously, he knows he's in some serious danger. He says the guy is a danger to society, and he wants to know how he was able to slip out of this jail without anyone noticing. I mean, I had never heard of nothing like that, and for him to get past so many people. A man who had a gun pointed at him wants to know how the suspect slipped away from authorities. Sheriff's deputies say Tuesday afternoon, Chris Bowden walked out of jail pretending to be another inmate, Darius Dabney. It's just beyond me how he got out. Um, him being on the street ain't a good idea. It's either going to be him or somebody else. Court documents show Bowden had been released on community control after a violent robbery last year. While he was out, police say Bowden pointed a gun at a man in Cheviot. The victim asked us not to show his face, but he says as he was moving into his new home in Cheviot, he noticed Bowden and his friends watching him as if they were planning to rob him. I was looking at him, he was looking at me, and then like he got back in the car, and the next thing I know, I saw a beam on my chest, then I saw a beam on my head. I'm like, oh, hell no. So I backed out, I shot down the street, and I uh, got Chevy of police. That incident landed Bowden back in jail. His community control was revoked, and he was sentenced to 10 years in prison for the original aggravated robbery. Then the escape happened. The victim says his concern is for his family's peace of mind. When it comes down to your family, you don't think of being scared. You don't think of being like, well, what if he comes after me? I'm pissed at this point. My kids already want to move. The victim says his family members tell him that they've already seen the marshals out looking for Bout, and he says as soon as they catch him, the better off people will be before someone ends up getting hurt. Live tonight at the Hamilton County Justice Center, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. Angela, thanks very much. Deputies say they're looking into their policies and procedures after Bowden's escape. They also call the escape, quote, a rare occurrence.